right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Right. All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rules set. Not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Wood gets absolutely tagged by that stiff Jeff. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Well, the pleasant way to put it is that the fighters are respecting each other, feeling each other out, and managing risk, but really not much in terms of action thus far. No, they gotta get going. I understand that when people are fresh, they're very scary, but you cannot be this cautious. Back and forth we go. <laughs> Trying to find a home for that right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Well, she's got a good front kick and certainly put it to good use there. She really understands face management, and she uses that front kick as if she's doing a jab. Oh, nice combination there by Pennington. Oh. And as 
as she misses with the left punch there. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh, that was a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Able to check that kick as well. Slip that one. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Oh, straight punch. Now mixing one into the body. Oh! Huge shot going on right here. Oh, nice right in. Vicious combo there. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, another beautiful kick to the thigh. She has attacked that area to great effect here tonight. She said, oh, flying knee to the head. Oh, hook to the head by Michelle Penning. Another strike to the head land. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out, but Penning still stands. She's still standing. She's still standing. She's still standing. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. All right, so a standing ovation from this capacity crowd after that round. A huge knockdown there in the middle of the round. Got to have her feeling pretty good here as she goes to the store. Back and forth up to that point. But she eventually found the shot that put her opponent on her backside. But how about the toughness of oh. the opponent to get up off the floor and finish that round? Let's see how she approaches the next round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it. The big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she Great sat fight. down on that strike Great. that put her opponent down. Great. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. strike and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class but she lands and she lands very effective oh Her striking has been great tonight, rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the finish. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This one looked like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out to try to finish the fight. Well, the stats were oh! This could be it! Big head kick! Oh, she landed another nice leg kick. Well, she ain't cocky, but she is confident, and why not? Big knockdown in the previous round. She appears to have the striking advantage. She's doing everything right. That's what led her to getting that knockdown to finish the earlier round. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Trying to hammer that lead leg. It got checked. Two minutes now to go. Fighters committed to the head kick. That one landed. Wood's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. <laughs> Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Big right hand. It landed some nasty strikes. Oh. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. Heavy
Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh. Ten minutes in the box. Stop, stop, stop. Punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She fight? cannot continue to do ready? the same thing and go expect ahead. a different result. Third round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You gotta make a decision. When you get up off of your school, going to the She's getting up, yep. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Oh, how about the slip by her there? I was about to call that out of the... Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast. If you take the ball, the night's over. She continues to punish the body yet again, just as she did in the last round, picking up exactly where she left off. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. All right, so 77 total strikes and counting that have landed for Raquel Pennington. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, she's hurt her opponent several times in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but how about just getting aggressive and finishing this fight? You know, she doesn't take many chances inside the octagon. Right now is a time where she should take chances. She should be going forward, putting a lot of activity out there, trying to end her opponent's night. So I think if I was a pro fighter, I might be a leg kicker, man. I mean, this weapon has changed the game, and she's limping pretty bad now. She's limping very bad. I mean, when you talk about fighters, they want to be stone cold. Oh! She is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. Oh, Pennington's nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. Oh, my God. Back to the feet now. Job by the defensive fighter. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Pennington. All right, so it looks as though, yes, she's starting to deal with some swelling now, so defensively, got to figure out a way to shore things up. She's tough, John. We know that she's tough. We've always known that she's tough. But we, she, what she has to do is she has to be a little bit more active in her defenses if she doesn't want to get all beat up. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew when you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did and got that big knockdown really that really did Ready. determine this round. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Right here. Oh. Back to the feet. Oh, with authority, the body. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick.
Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Woods Eye now closing up. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh! That'll do it! Oh my goodness. Right here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world, Joe. All right, so an incredible result in this sold-out venue tonight. We have a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She is just spectacular. A great fighter, a great champion, a woman that understands what it takes to be the best in the world. Congratulations, champ.